setup guide for a stingray tree tent. So when you open the bag up, you'll find the manual, the tent, three straps, three ratchets, bag of pegs, bag of spares, and a fly sheet. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your straps around the trees that you're going to use. So walk the loop end around the tree and then feed the tail through the loop and make sure there's no twists in the strap and pull it tight. I'm eyeing the, uh, the level. This tree's a bit lower down than the other tree, so I'm putting the strap about eight inches or 15 centimeters higher than the, the last tree. tent pegs are rolled in with the with the tent you want to unfold the tent and make sure all the corners are pointing to the trees that you're going to be using as your anchoring points once you've done that you can get each of the ratchets which have a loop on one end and a ratchet buckle on the other and the loop goes through the d-ring and then the ratchet goes through the loop and put it tight Run your hand from the tree all the way down the strap to get out any twists. And then take the end tail of the ratchet and you can pump it a few times to make it easier to thread through. And then the first time you do it, you're just going to do a very rough setup so you can fine tune it later. So put the tail, uh, tail through the spindle of the ratchet and take the tail and pull it back towards the tree and that will pull the tent off the ground. Clamp it, the tail and the strap with both hands so they're in line and then unlock the ratchet and pump it a few times. And then we can have a look to see if all our lines match up. So you want to look down the strap and you want to see these seams are pretty much in line with the strap on every side. It's pretty good. Now, each of the ratchets should be locked in locked position. So that means you pull the lever towards the handle and set the handle back so that this plate catches behind inside this nook here. On models of the Stingray made after June 2016, you'll find that the sleeves are now on the outside. So this might be different from the one you have or the one that you've bought. You feed the, feed the pole into the sleeve, which is now external on, on these Stingrays. And once they're in with about a foot or about 30 centimeters out, then you come over to the tail. And at the tail end, you will find a zip, which will allow you easy access into the back end. And you can just pop the two poles into the pole sockets at the, at the back end. And then you can do up the zip 
go back round to the front <laughs> and then put each one into the white sockets at either side of the door. You've got a mesh here which will protect the insect mesh of the door from abrasion when you get in and out of the tent and that just hangs over the, the door there and the door can also be rolled up and fastened out of the way with the toggle and the loop. And then we can do the fly sheet. Uh, time to put the fly sheet on. It will come with its own little clip band. And the logo will always be on the front center. So that's a good way to orientate yourself. Because uh, they are quite large. And then the tail. You'll know the tail because it's where the three pieces of fabric come together. So you'll see three, two seams. One, two, three pieces of fabric come together. So the new fly sheets are slightly different from the old fly sheets in that they don't go through the D-ring. Um, but if you position it about 20 or 15, 20 centimeters back from the D-ring, um, and then the idea is that you lace it around the strap. You can hook it to the back of the ratchet but do not hook it to the lock because it will pull the lock open which means that you lose um, this plate from being in the teeth which stops it unwinding so if you're going to hook it to the ratchet hook it to the back of the ratchet you have to go under the strap and the fly sheet goes over the strap and over the tent the other way you can do it is you lace it up the strap and then hook it to itself like that and then the last corner same thing you can hook it to the back of the ratchet or you can lace it all the way up and then hook it to itself. The reason that we've decided to bring the fly sheet past the carabiner is you can get better ventilation. So if it's like that, the fly sheet isn't touching the insect mesh on the inside. It's being pulled up, up the strap so you get better ventilation. So each uh, wing of the Stingray fly sheet, you'll find hooks and loops, and these can be uh, tipped to the side and that will give you full wind protection, but it does cut down on the ventilation inside the tent. So if there's three of you sleeping in there, unless it's really windy, I would suggest that you peg them out using the three yellow pegs provided, which will allow the air to circulate and you won't get condensation building up. And I'll show you how to peg them out now. Little bag, three giant screw pegs and three lengths a bungee cable which you can just untie, unroll. Put a loop in each end of the bungee. And then that just simply hooks onto there. And then the hook goes through the loop that you've just made and screws into the ground. We often get asked what the, um, what the two clips at the front are for on the Stingray, but if you roll your Stingray fly sheet up, you will find two little C-clips and your fly sheet just pops in there like that. And in there like that, allowing the door to stay open.